Yes. So students, we've already done the SP hybridization. So let us start with the second type of hybridization that is SP2 hybridization. So let us write the heading SP2 hybridization. Basically, whenever we are studying SP or SP2 or SP3 or SP3D2 hybridization, we are more like we have to concentrate on the concept of how many S orbitals and how many P are intermixing together to form hybrid orbitals. That is most important. So, as I said in my previous video, S percentage was so much, P percentage was so much, 1S and 1P in the same way. I will also explain that for this SP2 hybridization. Let us start with the class. So, in SP2 hybridization, basically, as the title suggests, you have one S orbital, yes, and you have two P, right? <clears throat> your Px orbital and your Py orbital are intermixing together. So, one S and two P, that's the reason we have called it as SP2 hybridization. So, once I have, once I intermix or form a hybrid orbital, the shape of the hybrid orbital exactly looks like a triangle. It is just ex exactly like a triangle, right? How do the lobes arrange themselves? Put a dot in the center, one lobe above, one lobe here and one lobe here. Right, and in the mixing of orbitals, how is the shape looking? Yes, it's looking just like a triangle, right? It is just triangle and it's in a single plane. That's the reason sp2 hybridization we call it as the shape, call it as triangular, triangular planar structure. It is also called a triangular planar structure. So remember, 1s and 2p they are intermixed together to form hybrid orbitals and finally attain a shape of a triangle, right? Sp2 that means 1 plus 2, 3. So three lobes. Finally, they call it as triangular planar. So let us do this using an example. I'll take an example and let us draw the structures based on this. Fine. So whenever you are drawing sp2 hybridization, remember, careful, you have to go step by step. First, your teacher would giving you an example. You have to go to the ground state, excited state, the intermix with the orbitals. See how many uh, are again forming pi bonds. Finally, I draw the more orbital structure. Finally, write this character peak character and uh, uh, try the shape of the molecule so let us start let me pick up two examples for sp2 first basic example bf3 and one more example is <coughs> ethylene 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 structure ch2 double bond ch2 i'm going to pick up both the examples right now this is boron boron trifluoride boron trifluoride so as soon as the molecule is given to you so ma'am how should i know whether it is sp2 sp or sp3 yesterday i gave you a clue let us see that again whenever a molecule is given to you write the structure you have already studied the basic lewis dot structure isn't it yes so if i draw the lewis dot structure for this how does this look b f f and f just join boron and this one one and two correct now three and four right 5 and 6 done now fluorine 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Lewis dot is complete for this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is also complete for this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 fine we very well know boron atomic number is only 5 so boron atomic number is 5 that means 2 and 3 does it have any extra electron for boron to form not there that is a reason boron has is called as an electron deficient compound remember i did in one of the video ele electron deficient compounds so boron is an electron deficient compound so what do i say now i have to calculate the hybridization for this i told to calculate hybridization just add sigma bond pairs plus lone pairs that is what i told yes in the previous video sigma bond pairs plus lone pairs so if i join this if i come back to this how many sigma bond pairs are there around uh, boron now boron is a central atom how many bond pairs do we have one two three correct three bond pairs do we have any lone pairs i said it is an odd electron compound so odd electron i'll write it here odd electron so do we do we have any lone pairs on this we don't have any lone pairs so lone pairs are zero so is it three means what do you say three means sp2 two plus one three that is how i said it is sp2 hybridization remember that fine so note this and we'll start with the hybrid hybridization or hybrid intermixing of orbitals
fine so now what what are we going to do i'm going to take boron trifluoride so bf3 our teacher has given us bf3 so i'll take this is a central atom this is your uh, to which it is going to intermix so pick up the central atom write the atomic number 5 so it be 5 and 3 that means 1 is 2 2 is 2 2p so 2 plus 1 and so boron ground state if i write it is 1s2 is already filled stable so pick up this 2s2 then 2p write this 2p1 fine now boron in the excited state then why should it go to the excited state because you have you should have th three fluorines should intermix with them that means you should have three vacant orbitals for fluorine to come and form a uh, bond with boron so this in in the excited state one electron from here will get excited to this so you get half then your 2p will be half and half this is 2s and this is 2p so now what happened how many orbitals do we have s and p2 right now three fluorines are there one here one here and one here isn't it so all the three fluorines will intermix up to find so now this is done so now s and p sp2 has to intermix so how do they look like now if i take now this is your p orbital and your s orbital correct yes now this is intermixing but still i am not done but now what should i do i have to pick up the f orbital and i have to intermix with this correct yes now uh, <coughs> let me write the state for uh, fluorine and see what's going to happen yes now when i pick up for fluorine so let me write this later and i use the board so fluorine fluorine atomic number is 9 1s2 2s2 <coughs> 2p uh, if i write 6 6 7 8 6 7 8 9 10 so this is 2p 5 so let fill the ground state 2 and your 5 correct 1 2 3 4 and 5 now for one fluorine you have one vacant orbital if i take this as 2s if i take it as 2p px py and pz for one fluorine you have one half filled right for three fluorines you have three right so these three will come and join here right one fluorine is one so three fluorines you have one vacant space here one vacant space one vacant space so you have to draw those vacant spaces and you have to show the structure as i said what did i say it is bf3 how is the structure i said it is in one plane one s and 2p will mingle in one plane isn't it so how do the structure look when they intermingle this is one this is your this orbital this is your right now your lobes in a mixing exactly now if i draw this is a triangle right exactly if i draw a triangle now still i'm not done yes so now what happened now these s or s orbital and p or p2 orbital have intermixed and formed triangular structure so let me be clear without a mistake so one correct two and three lobes yes this intermixing fine now i have f right this and this is mixed up and form a triangular planar structure now this f how many fs we have three which orbital of f is there pz so take the pz orbital intermix with this this pz here you have pz here and you have pz orbital here right so now here what is the bond here this is sp2 hybridized bond correct now here what is the bond this is sp2 p yeah here also what is sp2 p sigma bond correct yes sp2 p sigma bond here what is the bond it is sp2 s sigma bond here what is the bond here also it is the same sp2 s sp2 p no not s it is sp2 p how sp2 of these two p of this sp2 p sigma bond so these are the bond this is how you going to draw structure for bf3 if i basically see isn't it looking like a triangle so that's the reason we call it as triangular planar so once again so <coughs> first as soon as the element is given to you write the ground state right first write the configuration then write go to the ground state then go to the excited state now one electron got excited so sp2 hybridization so they intermix together so once they intermix i very well know 
sp2 hybridization they're going to intermix and form triangular planar structures so triangular planar structure now write the fluorine atom how many fluorines we have three fluorines write the uh, ground state configuration of fluorine when i say there is only one unpaired electron correct which is in p orbital so how many fluorines do we have three so intermix that fluorine 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 and finally show the triangular planar structure is my answer complete not complete i still have to give the data shape of the molecule is triangular triangular planar structure correct yes what is a bond angle here if i take the bond angle is 120 degrees so bond angle is 120 degree correct what is s correct s percentage it is how much are you saying it is 1 is to 2 right so 33 percent of s character and p per correct p percentage is 67 percent of p together makes it 100 percent so your basic data this should be complete with your answer so go through the whole thing please note it carefully this is important this is important this also is important this is also very important when bf3 structure is given to you